Hello, Southern Tennessee mom. Today we're gonna make a uh, bee stew. I've got about two cups of flour in this bowl here, just a regular self rise and you can use whatever kind you want for this. I've already rinsed off about a pound and a half of roast meat and I've cut it up in pieces. So I'm just gonna put it in my flour here, a little at a time, and just kind of coat it with the flour. Just like so. And I'm just gonna put it in a pan here. Now I did spray my pan with some, with some canola spray. You can use oil. I just want, I don't want a lot of oil in it. I just want enough to kind of brown my meat a little bit. That's what we're going for. Not a lot, because the stew is going to cook itself. Got it in a pan, as you can see, and I've got it on medium heat. And I just want that to coat a little bit on both sides. While that's doing, I'll go ahead and coat the rest of my meat here. I like to wash my meat. I know some people don't, but I do because I don't trust people packaging it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I might have used a little bit too much flour in this, and that's okay. This will also make like a gravy look. Like. Okay, while that is cooking, I'll take a few minutes for it to start to cook. I'm gonna go ahead and get my potatoes peeled and my carrots um, opened up. Now you can use real carrots, but I'm just gonna use uh, sliced canned carrots. To me, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but if you are gonna use real carrots, you want either wanna boil them first, so they'll be a little bit more tender if you don't like cook, put it on early in the morning or um, cook it slow. So they'll get done. I did my, put my potatoes on, they're cooking now. Um, but that's only because I didn't start this this morning. I had some other stuff I had to do. So I, I want my potatoes done. Um, and like I said, I'm not really getting this meat all the way done. I'm just getting a coating of the, um, the flour on it. So it has a coating sort of like, you can see that, see that? Cause it'll cook in the stew, so. All right, so like that, okay? So I'm gonna set that to the side and I'm gonna put some more oil in the bottom. And add my meat here. Yeah, here it's sizzling now. The pan's getting warm. That's just going to give that meat a little bit of coating to make that beef stew really good. Okay, we have our taters and carrots. I'm just going to dump them in there. I have some Italian seasoning and I'm just gonna sprinkle some in, probably about equivalent to maybe a fourth of a teaspoon. I'm gonna add some basil to this. Uh, just about, I wanna even measure that, just a couple dashes. Basil could be strong if you're not careful. Um, I am going to put equivalent to about a fourth of a teaspoon of parsley. And also for the onion powder, about a fourth of a teaspoon. 
Now you can't put real onions in this or dehydrated onion, onions. I'm out of both right now, so onion powder will work. And uh, on the garlic powder, I'm also going to do about a fourth of a teaspoon. I love garlic powder. I cook with it a lot. It's really good for you. So now I'm going to take beef broth and I'm going to put all of it in there. Now you can just do regular water, but the beef broth is going to give it a little bit of extra taste to it. I feel like it does. Kind of help marry everything together, blend it all well together. I'm gonna take, add some salt and pepper, just to taste. You could do like a fourth of a teaspoon of both, would be fine. Then I've got a, um, a packet of just brown gra gravy mix. I'm just gonna pour that in as is. I'm also gonna add about a half a cup of flour. Just I'm using self-rising flour, but for this, it's not really gonna matter. You can use all purpose, whatever you want. About a half a cup of that. Then I'm gonna mix it all together. And if I, I'm gonna need a little bit more um, liquid in that, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to the beef broth container. Now this is just water. But also, it'll get out any remaining remnants of the beef broth. Just mix it all that together. You don't want the flour to just clump up. Just kind of mix it together where the flour dissolves. I'm going to cook this on a medium heat. Now, if I was cooking this all day, like start early in the morning and then, you know, be ready by night, by supper time, I would probably just cook it on like a medium heat first and, or, and then switch to low heat um, throughout the morning. And you can't you can't cook this in a crock pot or a pressure cooker. Um, I just find that cooking on the stove it gets a little the it gets a little thicker on the sauce, and I like that. I don't really like mine thin. Now you can add whatever you want to this. If you don't want carrots, you gotta add peas or carrots or uh, corn or whatever you want. Now we're just gonna let that cook. I'm gonna cock my lid on it. Just let it cook. And I'll be back when it's done. Look at that, how thick that is. That is, looks delicious. Actually, I guess it's been about two and a half hours. that looks. Doesn't that look yummy? Right. 
God bless you and have a blessed day. And I'll talk to you on my next video. Goodbye.